Hello again, this is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios, Roblox, and a new game that's just been released. It was out on beta. I don't know if it's still beta or not. Eincrad. Yes, if you are a SAO Sword Art Online fan, this game might be the one for you. I am here in the town of Beginnings. I've been playing for about three days now, I think. And I wanted to help out all the new players because I think this game is going to, you know, catch some traction and take off. In the shadow of Sword Burst 3 coming out in the near future, uh, while I was waiting, I thought I would investigate a new game. And my son, he's recommended Eincrad. So here I am, my little character, and we're going to first talk about the interface. Now... Of course, space is jump, and the easiest way to know in the different controls, you have to go up here, and with your sword, you press Q to take your sword out, Q to put your sword up, but with the sword sheathed, with it put up, click on Menu, and then you have your controls right here under the little gear, and as you can see, Q is to equip or unequip your weapon, Sprint is the left shift, Roll is the left control. To interact with something is E, and you'll see that, so you don't have to worry about that one. Attack would be your left mouse button. Well, we're talking about the left mouse button. For those of you who use an auto clicker, you might want to consider uh, checking this out with an auto clicker. It lags, so I actually put a heavy object on my left mouse button to auto click. And to sit down is in, and you cannot sit down unless your sword is put away or unequipped, by the way. You have settings here. You can turn off camera shake and all of this. And if you want to toggle off PvP, you have to pay for it. And I did because I got PK'd once. I had just beat myself up fighting with uh, some monsters, and I was very, very low in health and a couple of guys jumped to me, and I got sick of that, and I went ahead and paid for PvP. And then, of course, you have Log Out. Here, the next button up, of course, is Players. You have Players, Parties, and Guilds. Players here. Let's take a look at some of these players. Some really nice guys. Uh, Wolfie Wolf was up there at the Mini Boss a little while ago. Here, Jake Duke. And then Zach was up there. There's a few people that were up there, and they're very nice guys. And here's some of the things. Trade is coming soon. You cannot trade yet. You can invite people to a party, and you can join a party with them, but you cannot trade yet. So here's a list. If you had a party, all your party members would be listed there. And then the top button, of course, is your character. Your character. This is Delta Climber, of course. And there's three basic types of swords so far that I have found. You have a straight sword a great sword, and a rapier. And we're going to talk about each of the types of swords, hopefully, in this video. And there's so much to learn here. We've got a lot to cover. You click on equipment, and you can see all the equipment that you have. Items would be your potions, your teleport crystals, and then your upgrade crystals. And then the skills that you have right here that you have unlocked as well. And you have to press Menu in order to see those with your sword unequipped. Now, once you equip your sword, let me show you one other thing real quick. If you press Escape and go to Settings, it does have Shift Locks. But the Shift Locks feature, that's off. But the Shift Locks feature, I have found, does not work on this game. Shift there's shift, 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 not shift lock. So just like on uh, World Zero, you're going to have to, this is how I do it. I hold down my right mouse button on my character's back, and then I aim or I navigate him that way. Of course, you have W, A, S, and, whoa, we're not right into that. That was really good. And... D, and those are your movement buttons as well. And I found if you aim your character, and oh yes, and sprint is holding down, holding down 
the shift key. And that's probably why you don't have shift locks because Sprint is um, key locked to, let me try a different, nope, the other, the other shift does not work either. I just wanted to make sure that so shift lock, they said in that when you first come in, they say that there may be some bugs or whatever that you have to take a look at. All right. So you start off, you're going to have 100 health level one. Now, 100 health is going to go quickly with these mobs. You go outside this gate, and the first mobs that you run into will be these, just these boars, just like the Town of Beginnings SAO, Sword Art Online, you have boars. Then you go farther out, and you will run into wolves, and wolves are a little tougher. And then if you go even farther and you see the tower over here, that's the boss tower. You go towards that boss tower and get into the deep woods. And there are some man-eating plants out there that will um, be tougher. And that's a quest. So let's talk about quests real quick. I know I'm not going to be able to cover everything in one video. And we're going to get into some really deep details Quests. The first quest is up here by the clock tower, by the teleport pad, where you come in. And here it is right here, the exclamation point. War and peace. War, <laughs> War and peace. War and peace. And that is where you press E, and you see I've already done that. He's going to ask you to beat up 10 boar hogs for him. Boar hogs are messing up his garden or something. So you've got to go out there and beat up some boar hogs for him. And he gives you a reward. The second quest. Now, they, look at where the quests are because this is where a lot of people ask, you know, where are the quests? You turn in to the left and you see Grace S Cynthia. Yeah, Grace Cynthia. Grace Cynthia right here. She's going to say, oh, my goodness, please help me with those wolves. And you go out and you kill some wolves. After that, I think it's ten wolves. The next quest, and this is to be about all the time we have in this video, is going through quests because the fourth quest is really far away. This guy right here in the Town of Beginnings, Christian Linwood, He's going to ask you, please beat up those man-eating plants in the forest because, you know, they can't travel to the forest without being chomped on. All right. Those are the first three quests, and that's a good start. The fourth quest is really far away. It's over. Just I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you go to the boss tower, take a left, follow the edge of the cliff, until you see there's a little encampment underneath the waterfall, and there's a guy over there that wants you to beat up some kobolds that are in the boss tower. Now, those are much tougher as well. So I hope this has helped and answered some questions. We're going to be covering a lot more. And one last thing I said I we would try to cover, and that is the different types of swords. All right, put your sword up, click on Menu. You start off with a straight sword. If I'm not mistaken, that's what you start off with. And that's what I have here is uh, these are all, there's actually, nope. Yeah, it's a straight sword. This is the sword you actually start off with. Okay, it's a straight sword and it swings that fast. And I thought, wow, this is cool. That is the medium speed for a sword. You can't get into menu unless you put your sword up. You go in. Now the bigger sword this does much damage. Well, if it does much damage, that's one I want, right? Well, here's the problem with the great sword. It is much slower. So by the time my straight sword is hit two blows, this one is hit one, and you do the math and you'll find out whether what sword is best for you. One last thing on the swords there also is you're going to look at the different swords. You have straight swords, great swords, and rapiers. 
and you will see see how there the green shows the progression of the sword and you learn skills i've learned two skills under straight swords but i've learned none on these others and i can't get above a level three for whatever reason i don't know if that's a bug or what but let me go ahead and then show you why i was impressed with this rapier we know that that in most games is the fastest and it really is but it's also the weakest it does the least amount of damage but do the math if you can hit twice as fast as a straight sword and that makes about four times faster or three times faster than a great sword do the math and see what sword is best for you oh, got to put it up before you can go in the menu. There's just so much in this game to go over, and I cannot cover it all at one time. But I wanted to show you one more thing, two more things. Let me show you two more things. All right, Town of Beginnings. Right up there is the clock tower and the teleport pad where you will come in the game at. All right, you're coming right down. The, if you turn left, there's the lady that does the second quest. But if you turn right, there's a store over here. And as you beat up monsters, somehow or the other, I guess you cut open their bellies and you get money out of them. I don't know. But you get money from the mobs. And with the money, whoop, yep, I learned how to drive. You can come on here and you can buy iron swords. These are not as strong as the stuff that the monsters drop. You can change the color of your armor. And you can buy these potions. These potions are how you, you either sit down and get your health back or either you drink a potion to get your health back or to keep you alive as you're fighting. I said I was going to show you two things. That's one, the store. Um, I didn't show you how to sit down, did I? Oh, Delta Climber. All right, with your sword put up, you press in and it will revive your health about one to two points per second and if you're standing up it's a little slower than that and then now here's the other thing I wanted to show you as you get monster drops you can come around the corner and just like sword burst 2 you can dismantle let me like this I killed a couple of wolves and they gave me some wolf armor I guess these would be called common or tier one. You dismantle it and get one crystal. These are uncommon. See, so yeah, it says uncommon on them, and you get two crystals. If you were to dismantle a rare, you'd get three. Ooh, I'm not going to do that. Three crystals, and then you get five crystals for dismantling a legendary. Or So let's go in and see what level that purple is. Equipment, go right here. Epic. Okay. And I think there is a legendary above Epic. But the purple is Epic. And I got that from the mini boss. So you can upgrade your armor, get crystals, come over here. And as you can see, I've upgraded that one. Um, here's the one I, the, the, this one's maxed out with the green crystals. And you're going to ask, how do I get the green crystals? How do I get the blue crystals? The only blue crystals I found come from quests. The green crystals, wolves, and the pot belly plants and the kobolds will drop them. And so many crickets. That's probably enough for this video. All right, guys. I'm going to do another video, and I'm going to take you on a tour outside. This is the town of beginnings, beginnings, beginnings. It's really cool. They, they did some really cool stuff with their textures and with their armor and stuff. I can't wait to see um, once the game gets going how they're going to increase animations. And there's only one floor out that I know of right now. And until the end, though, nobody's here. We're going to make another video. And again, I'm going to take you on a tour outside of the Town of Beginnings and show you where and the, how the mobs 
are levels, different levels, and how you can focus on a specific level and make it easier for it to get all of the ones that you need to get quickly and where they are located. Until then, though, this is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios, Roblox, and Town of Beginnings. Until Town next of time, beginnings. play it straight, don't Town hack. Of but even Archie. This has been a Delta Climber Studio production.